Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, I wanna share with you a beautiful, must-know minor chord progression for all guitar players. And this comes up in so many songs, and it's also just really useful to know. You can drop it in a lot of places. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this move, and then I'll show you three different ways, three different voicings that I use to play it in different places on the neck. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna start on an A minor chord here, and I'll show you just the move, what it is. If we take our A minor chord, which is from the fifth string down, just open, two, two, one, open. And what we're gonna do is move one note in the A minor chord. So it's gonna start here, and then what we're gonna do is play from the fifth string down, open, three, two, one. Then move that note again, we'll play it with the pinky, open, four, two, one. And then we'll go back the same way. So it could be played like. So it's all just moving one note. Now I first learned this as sort of like the James Bond chord progression, where you have this minor sound. So that's the move, and I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can play that on the neck. But before we dive into that, let me ask you, have you ever struggled getting your guitar in tune without an electronic tuner? I know for me, I did for way too long, and it wasn't until I stumbled across this method, I basically created this way to tune the guitar that is so much better than all the other methods that I've seen out there, and I wrote it out in just a simple five-step process, and I wanna give this to you completely for free. You can just follow these steps, step one, step two, you know, through five, and once you start implementing that, you're gonna be able to get a guitar in tune right away without a tuner. It's, you'll be able to tune it with itself. And I show kind of some of the ways that most people approach this. Like if you just go to Google and you type in how to tune a guitar without a tuner, you'll see all these typical ways that I show you, but then I show you why the way that I do it is better. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning and download it there so you can always get your guitar right in tune. All right, well, hope you enjoy that. Now, next, we're gonna look at a way of doing this same progression, but instead of playing it here, what if we wanted to play it based off of this A minor chord here at the fifth fret? Five, seven, seven, five, five, five. Just a typical minor bar chord. I might do this. So again, I'm moving that one note. I'm starting on that A minor, then I take the note on the fifth string and move it up to the eighth fret there. So five, eight, seven, five, five, five. And then again, I love this chord here. Five, nine, seven, five, five, five. That's A minor, six. And then you bring it back. It's like an A minor, sharp five, back to A minor. So again, you're just moving that one note, the E is going up to F's, going up to F sharp, and then back down. So that's one way that I would do it. And now another way would be like taking this that we started with, but playing it as a bar chord. So let's try that, say, on D minor here, I might go five, seven, seven, six, starting there on the fifth string, and then go to this D minor sharp five, which is fifth fret, then eighth fret, seventh fret, sixth fret. Some people might call it, you could think of it as a B flat triad with a D in the bass, or D minor sharp five. And again, move it up, you got D minor six, and back down, so. So 
So anytime you're just sitting on a minor chord, you can use this progression. And I use it in an arrangement that I play of summertime. And I use it in the turnaround, basically in the last part where you go. And back to summertime. Back to the top. So when I'm just chilling on that D minor, I add a little movement and then we're back to the top. So you could use it as an intro. You could use it there. I was just playing it at the end of the form for summertime. So let me show you one more way. That's another go-to way. This way is based off this triad here, which would be starting on the fourth string, 12, 10, 10, 10, a D minor, this D minor chord here. You could think of it as this parent chord here. So we're gonna start there, and then we're gonna move the note on the second string. So that's like. So D minor, and then go to 12, 10, 11, 10, then 12, 10, 12, 10, and then back. Now, if you want to get fancy, you could put the root note here on the 10th fret of the low E string with the thumb and play. So that is a beautiful must note chord progression for minor tunes. You know, it really gets that kind of more mysterious minor sound, which I love. Hope you got some value out of this video. Practice those chord changes, and remember that as you put all of this together, if you're not in tune, it's a bummer. So make sure to get my five-step secret tuning method. You're not gonna see this out there anywhere. And like I said, I struggled with getting my guitar in tune for way too long, and it wasn't until I used this system that I detail out in just five simple steps. I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com com slash tuning so you can always get your guitar right in tune as well as always thanks for watching thanks for listening and if you liked this video i think you're really gonna like this one next